Hey friend, are you currently paying an arm and a leg to have your online marketing campaigns managed by an agency or consultant or a freelancer? Well, if you are and you're receiving awesome results and awesome service, fantastic. But for a large percentage of you, that might not be the case. Well, in this week's video, I'm gonna share with you four warning signs that it might be time to take your business elsewhere or my personal favorite, manage your online marketing campaigns by yourself. My name's Scott Redgate, I'm an online marketing coach and early on in my career, I had the opportunity to work for one of the top online marketing agencies in the country. My experience with working with an agency was really good, but that might not be the case for many of you out there. I believe that a lot of businesses have what it takes to manage their own digital marketing campaigns, and that's the mission of this channel, to help give you the confidence that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an expensive agency to do it for you. And if you want some of my best tips on how you can manage your own online marketing campaigns, make sure to grab my free seven day online marketing jumpstart doc. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash jumpstart and I'll leave a link in the description below. Well, as for this week's video, let's assume that you're already working with an online marketing expert or maybe you're even just considering working with one. I wanna give you four warning signs that you need to look out for that if this is happening, if any of these four are happening, it might be time to take your business elsewhere or manage the campaigns yourself. All right, so here's the first warning sign that you need to look out for if you're paying to have your online marketing campaigns managed by a third party. So when you start working with this online marketing expert, early on into the campaign, you need to establish what your key performance indicators are, or KPIs for short. So let's say you hire an online marketing company to manage your SEO campaigns. A couple of KPIs could be your organic traffic year over year, how's that percentage trending, and also organic revenue that you're seeing as a referral traffic from search engines like Google. These need to be the North Star of your campaign, and there needs to be transparency on the reporting of these metrics on a regular basis. And for a lot of agencies, that would be a monthly report. And I'm not insisting that the agency should be able to deliver your goals on month one or in a short time period, but there needs to be trust in the relationship that even if you're not hitting those performance targets, what's the plan? You know, what's the next step? How can we achieve those goals? Because what some experts will do, if they're not confident in their plan, or if they believe that they share the truth with you, you're gonna take your business elsewhere, they'll start to hide that information. So instead of reporting on things like your organic revenue or your organic traffic, they'll start to hide those metrics and replace them with vanity metrics or metrics that don't even align with what you're hoping to achieve. So in the previous example, maybe organic revenue is your main KPI, but let's say there's been a trend of negative year over year revenue and the agency doesn't want to report on that and they don't have a plan on how they're going to improve that metric. Well, in this example, what could happen is maybe that agency doesn't report on those stats at all and instead there's a couple of keywords that you saw positive movement in and you were ranking in position 10 and now you're in position five. And instead of reporting on revenue or traffic, they solely report on a couple of keywords that you saw positive improvement with. Obviously it's not bad that you receive some data on some of your keyword movement and hopefully your online marketing partner is starting to educate you on all the different facets of your campaigns. But if they are deliberately hiding the main metrics that you are hoping to achieve, that's something that you need to question them on and consider taking your business elsewhere if you don't get a good answer. All right, so there's some similarities with the next warning sign that you need to look out for, and that's communication. I don't care what anyone says, no relationship will thrive if communication is not strong. And if you find yourself in a situation where you're a small fish in a big pond, you're not able to get your emails answered, or when you try to pick up the phone to give them a call, they don't answer. If you feel like you're having to fight to get your online marketing experts time, it might be a sign that they're not the right partner for you. Now, I wanna make sure I'm clear. When you signed up, there should have been some type of cadence that was mentioned in the contract for the frequency that you would communicate. So, for example, let's say you signed up for monthly reporting and a one hour call and some light email communication back and forth throughout the month, and you're trying to talk to that agency partner for three hours a day, Obviously, that's not what you agreed upon, and so that's not a situation that I'm describing here. But if there's an agreed upon communication standard that isn't being met, it's time to take your business elsewhere because obviously they're not valuing your business to even live up to the standards that were outlined in the contract. So the third thing that you need to look out for is turnover with your account representatives. So here's what I mean. 
let's say you sign up with a PPC agency in January and you go through your onboarding with a single representative at the company. And then you find out that that representative left and you've been transitioned to someone else at the company. And then let's say in May that person leaves and there's another account rep. Well, that could be a sign that the overall company that they're working for is not stable, that these employees feel like they have to jump ship frequently. And I feel like this could be a whole video in itself, but if the company that you're working with doesn't value their employees and they're not recognizing them and they're not a solid company, maybe the managers at this company are really poor, then that trickles throughout the entire organization at some point. And for some of those top tier employees, what that usually looks like is they leave and sometimes they'll leave in numbers. And so if there is a consistent pattern in a short time period of you getting a new representative every couple of months and you find out that it's a result of those employees leaving that organization, that's a warning sign that you need to look out for. On top of the fact that that new representative has to learn your account, they have to review the notes, and that can create some hiccups with you if you've been seeing good progress with the previous account rep. All right, so I have one final red flag that you need to look out for, and this one is really important to me. So all my marketing changes every single day. And if you're having conversations with your expert at an agency or a consultant, and you're talking about some news headline that you saw with Google or Facebook or X or whatever, and they have no clue what you're talking about, and I'm not just talking about one thing, but if there's a consistent pattern of you mentioning something like, hey, I heard that Google released this core update or or I heard that there was something big in the world of AI and your account representative has no clue what you're talking about. Well, if there's a consistent pattern that your account rep has no clue what's going on out there in the industry, that's a severe red flag because how can they make sure that your business is staying up to date with the latest trends in digital marketing if they're not staying up to date themselves? All right, so in summary, the four warning signs that you need to look out for that it might be time to take your online marketing business elsewhere is, does the expert that you're working with have poor communication? Do you feel like you're having to fight to get their attention? The second thing is, are the key performance indicators that the campaign is trying to hit being switched on a monthly basis because the expert is trying to hide the results that are going on with the campaign? And it's not that even the results aren't being hit. It's that they don't have the confidence in sharing why the results aren't being hit and what the plan is to try to improve upon them. The third thing that you need to look out for is, is there a lot of turnover and are you getting new account reps what seems like every other month? Because this could be a sign of the overall health of the organization that your representative is working for. And if the organization and the bosses at that organization don't empower and aren't trusting their employees, there might be a mass exodus. And so that's something that you need to look out for. And last but not least, if your representative is not staying on top of the latest trends and the latest news in online marketing, you need to be concerned because how are they going to ensure that you're staying up with the latest trends if they're not keeping up with it themselves? And I wanna be clear with this video, I am not anti-agency in saying that all agencies are bad. I just believe that there's a large percentage of businesses that would be better off managing their own online marketing campaigns because you cannot replace your subject matter expertise as you are in the business every single day with someone else's interpretation of your business. Now, with that said, there are some situations where it does make complete sense to hire an online marketing expert. And these situations would be ones like, you don't have the time, you're not passionate about technology or online marketing, or you truly just need some decent results or decent leads or revenue coming through the door so that you can operate your business. And so I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you understand my intent in creating this video. It's not to just put all agencies on blast. It's just things that you need to look out for that separate the good agencies versus the bad ones. And hey, with all that said, could you do me a huge favor? Could you like this video and subscribe to my channel? It will give me some momentum in YouTube's algorithm to be able to help more and more businesses like you. Thank you again. Take care.